Hi guys, and CWQ here, and uh, in front of me you can see I have an article, Tamu Massive, No Longer Our Biggest Volcano. And this is a picture of Tamu Massive. And the article goes on to state, Tamu Massive, No Longer Our Biggest Volcano, Magnetic Anomalies Reveal Its True Nature, Nick Karn reports. Tamu Massive was declared the largest single volcano in the world when it was located in the Pacific Ocean about 1,600 kilometers or 1,600 kilometers east of Japan in 2013, but now it seems it probably isn't. The leader of the team that found it is the first to agree. The largest volcano in the world is really the Mid-Ocean Ridge System, which stretches about 65,000 kilometers around the world like stitches on a baseball says William Sager, a geophysicist at the University of Houston in the United States. This is really a large volcanic system, not a single volcano. In their original paper, Sager and colleagues concluded that Tamu Massif was an enormous shield volcano formed by far-reaching lava flows emanating from its surface. However, new findings by Sager and others, published in the journal Nature Geoscience, conclude that it is a different breed of volcano mountain altogether. A research team from the U.S., China, and Japan analyzed magnetic field data over Tamu Massa, finding that magnetic anomalies, perturbations to the field caused by magnetic rocks in the Earth's crust, resemble those formed at mid-ocean ridge plate boundaries. They compiled a magnetic anomaly map using 4.6 million magnetic field readings collected over 54 years along 72,000 kilometers of ship tracks, along with a new grid of magnetic profiles positioned with modern GPS navigation. The map shows that linear magnetic anomalies around Tamu Massif blend into linear anomalies over the mountain itself, implying that the underwater volcano formed by extraordinary mid-ocean ridge crustal formation. The new findings also weaken the accepted analogy between eruptions of continental flood basalts and oceanic plateaus, because the formation mechanisms are shown to be different, the researchers say. Sager is philosophical. Science is a process and is always changing, he says. There were aspects of that explanation that bugged me, so I proposed a new cruise and went back to collect the new magnetic data that led to this new result. In science, we always have to question what we think we know and to check and double check our assumptions. In the end, it's about getting as close to the truth as possible, no matter where that leads. All in all, this means that Mauna Loa on the island of Hawaii should once again be considered the world's largest single volcano. Okay, so we're going to show you where Tamu Massif is on the map. And this is Tamu Massif here. And, of course, y'all know Mauna Loa, so we'll show you where Mauna Loa is. Mauna Loa is... This is Mauna Kea, so Mauna Loa is over here. Anyways, you guys, have a great day or night, wherever you are in the world.